Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So towards the end of April, I let you know that Microsoft had removed the start menu jump lists in the Windows 10 start menu after installing the security update KB5055518, which as I mentioned in that video had removed this perfectly working feature. And this is just uh, a timestamp from that video I posted just giving you a general idea if you missed that previous video. And your start menu jump lists, just like your taskbar jump lists, if you right click on an app like the Microsoft Store as an example, um, give you access to your recently used and downloaded apps or your most recently used files, depending on the app that you actually right click on. And here we can see that the jump lists were removed. So that was the issue. Now just to let you know that Microsoft um, late on Friday in my region actually confirmed that this was a known issue because I asked the question is Microsoft sabotaging Windows 10 because there seems to be niggly issues creeping into Windows 10 which is raising the question is Microsoft sabotaging the OS because its end of support is coming and you know a lot of users are thinking Microsoft is trying to get users onto Windows 11 from Windows 10 due to that end of support but nonetheless as mentioned Microsoft has confirmed this is a known issue and Microsoft has officially this to say over on the known issues health dashboard page Microsoft has received reports of users being unable to view the file jump lists for apps which includes the recent list of files used while right clicking on an app tile in the start menu on devices that installed updates released February the 25th 2025 and that was the update KB5052077 and later and Microsoft has this to say the rollout causing this issue has been paused since the 25th of April 2025 so no new devices should experience it and users affected earlier should not be experiencing it after the, this date okay so that's what Microsoft has officially to say regarding the issue now, they also mentioned that the issue was affecting home users of Windows 10 Home and Pro Edition. So it was more affecting your average home user. And Microsoft mentions that the issue was caused by a recent feature rollout that integrates account control experiences in the start menu for users of Windows 10 22H2. Account control provides users with an easily accessible way to manage their accounts, says Microsoft, and helps them get the most value for their accounts. This rollout began gradually in March 2025 via controlled feature rollout. So that was something that was taking place behind the scenes and, as mentioned, broke the jump lists in the start menu when you right click on those tiles in the start menu. Now, with all that out of the way, just to give you a background, the good news is, is Microsoft says that the issue has been resolved, as you can see, where they say the issue was resolved by a service change that was rolled out on April the 25th, 2025. If you are still facing this issue, please ensure that your device is connected to the internet to receive the automatic resolution that has been rolled out. After the next reboot, this issue should be resolved. So you can see now, my jump lists are back recently visited you can see there's the jump lists and here's my jump lists for my microsoft store and by the way in case you're wondering this works both for your tiles in the start menu that are pinned and also for your all apps list so that issue now has been resolved good to see that they have fixed the issue so if you were experiencing this issue just letting you know those jump lists are back in the windows 10 start menu so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.